Our cable is just a stereo plug and six feet of cable ending on the other end unterminated. So what we are going to do is strip back the outer sheath. We're going to cut off the shield inside, strip about an eighth of an inch off of the inner wires and do some soldering inside. Uh, I'm going to cheat because I've got this magic little tool to strip the wires. So first we'll strip some about five eighths of an inch off the outer sheath. Okay, this has a very fine wire shield around it and you want to be sure that you separate out all of the fine wires. Separate the white and the red wires. Be sure and examine around them very closely because these little wires will sometimes adhere to either the red or white wire. One of the little fine wires will adhere and you'll leave it there and cause problems later. I twist the shield a little bit just to make it manageable and then cut it off as close to this sheath as you possibly can. Here's where the strain relief comes in. We take the tie wrap, start it, and what we want to do is put the tie wrap on the black wire, on the outer covering of the wire, and just have it back from the end of the wire that's between I'd say between a sixteenth and a thirty-second of an inch of the black showing through this on this side you don't want to leave too much showing through because it takes up too much space inside the body of the probe uh, again get this as tight as possible okay I've stripped back about an eighth of an inch of this by the way if any of you haven't seen one of these they are really handy this is built by Patco P-A-T-C-O Patco Service Incorporated in Baltimore Maryland this is a model PTS 10 this is hot enough to melt most insulations but not so hot that you can't touch it for a few seconds it will not burn you okay let's come back into frame now give the wires a little twist and tend them we want to tend them as generously as we can It will make it easier to make the solder connection inside the probe body. Okay, so we've tinned them. Now we pull this back into the probe body. <clears throat> Try to get the red wire closest to the positive side of the LED as you're going pulling it back into the body of the probe. Okay, we're now ready to solder the cable wires inside the housing. The red wire will 
go to the positive lead of the LED, that would be the 1 o'clock position in relation to the groove in the printed circuit board. Uh, use whatever technique you can to position the wire and hold them in place. Use whatever tools you have at hand. Um, the objective, obviously, is to just get these things soldered without creating a solder bridge across this groove. The two sides of the groove must be electrically isolated. So if you end up with a solder bridge or short because of the cabling, something like that, you need to correct it. So we are now going to try to solder the red wire to this side of the groove. And we'll just see what we can do to position it down here. Okay, again, neatness doesn't count. We got that soldered in there, connected on the positive side of the LED. Now we'll just take the our needle nose pliers and we'll do a little rerouting. All, all we want to do is just get the wire out of the way as much as possible. In this case, I'm kind of trying to squeeze this over behind the resistor leg. There we go. Got it in there. I've got it in a place that's I'm going to have to be careful about the red wire. Okay. Again, not sure how much you can see in there, but here we have the LED positive wire on this side. LED negative wire connected to the resistor, resistor connected to this side. Red cable wire connected to the to the one o'clock position, um, positive side of the LED, and the white wire to the opposite side of the groove. Uh, as you, we previously noted, we cut off the shield. We do not need that shield for any purpose. If in your configuration you need the shield for some reason you of course can use it in any way shape or form you need. That completes uh, the hardest part of assembling the probe.